Hello everyone, thanks for taking some time out of your day to visit my channel. And I'm finally back making reactions again. So today I wanted to look at animals as leaders because I'm actually gonna see them very soon. I'm really excited. I'm gonna see them on their tour with Dream Theater and Devon Townsend in Vancouver. I am so bloody excited about it. Uh, but as much as I'm familiar with those two, I'm not too familiar with animals as leaders. Now I know a bit about Tosin and I've seen like clips of him and his guitar style. So I have a rough idea of the kind of virtuoso brilliance that might be coming my way, but I've never listened to a song all the way through. I'm even wearing my tech support t-shirt today because I have a feeling this is gonna be some crazy techie mind boggliness. So let's get into it. Animals as leaders, monomyth. Okay, I need to pause because uh, I felt something crazy was about to happen there. Whew. Yes, I had a feeling it would be a bit like this. Um, a shit ton of notes and crazy time signatures and everything. I'm probably going to struggle to do it justice and explain it all. Um, striking video as well. I'm loving this. They're all incredibly talented. The contemporary dance that fits music so well. Anyway, uh, I love how clean the, the sound is. Now, from the small amount I've heard of them, that's the kind of sound I was expecting. Um, the, the, the thump technique that I believe he's, he's sort of known for. Um, but everything, like both, all, all members, it's a very tight sound. You can really hear every note. There is that enough space in the mix for everything to expand and thank goodness because they're all doing a million things at once uh but that rhythm is it's quite genty it's like a like a metalcore breakdown almost but it's obviously they've turned it nowhere near the same amount of distortion or gain there's no screaming over the top of it it's very refined and it's just so clean sounding but also just very manic and in its own way extremely heavy like this is arguably heavier than a lot of heavy metal just because just the the feeling of astoundment and overwhelmingness uh, that is uh washing over me right now uh okay i'm gonna stop blathering let's just let's just experience this that synth is great too Gosh, that was the sound of that is incredible. Now, uh, what I want to know, I should probably find some live performances, but it almost sounded like slapback delay. I have a feeling it's not just knowing like how respected he is. Like I know he's a revered. I mean, I'm sure they're all revered, but uh, I know Tosin probably gets a lot of the attention uh, for his style. I've seen him with like nine string guitar or eight, maybe nine string or definitely an eight string. I've seen pictures of him uh, and I've always kind of wanted to see uh, or hear what he produces, uh, but there's there's some very interesting technique going on, and I can't tell 
if it's effects, it's a similar sounding effect of like a slap back uh, delay. Uh, but I, yeah, I have a feeling that's just his technique. Uh, and also just the way the bass, like if he changes his style, like when he went into like the more uh, classic sounding lead, it felt like the bass switched it up and was really um, probably using slap bass to kind of fill up the register a bit more. Um, because naturally you're sort of slapping with the thumb, pulling up with the other fingers on the higher notes. You're sort of getting that wider range as a bass line for the lead guitar. That's what sounded like was happening. Um, so kudos to that whole composition to keep the the thickness there throughout, even though things are changing so much. Um, but it just sounds so, so epic. Uh, struggling for words and I'm like forgetting everything that happened because there's just so much... Is, is there's just so much happening in a compact space here. Let's take it back a bit. Uh, that bit with the almost sitar sounding, uh, I guess it's like a, an octave effect he's put on there uh, to give that sitar feel. That actually sounded quite Dream Theater-esque, so I can see why they're, they're touring. Um, oh, it's just, this is, oh, they have such an incredible grasp of everything and how all these details all come together. It, it, it's manic, but it weirdly meshes together. Uh, okay, I felt like something, we were going in a new direction, so... compliments it very nicely. Oh, the dancing, the video and everything came together so incredibly well. There was a moment of the bass there where it sounded like there were, I can't tell if it was just, maybe Tosin was playing guitar in that moment as well, but it felt like I was getting notes hard panning on either side. And oh man, you, it's like you're getting pulled in different directions. Also just the way they pulled the mix back so you could really hear it, it sounded great. Oh, that's just all sounding fantastic. You know, I recently bought a five string bass and a seven string guitar and I feel like they're both giving me an evil eye right now like why aren't you thumping us yet why aren't you playing us like that well you're gonna have to give me a few decades because that the technique needed for that shit is just <laughs> unbelievable like absolute off the chain off the chain off the chart I, why am I say off the chain I'm not that cool off the chart virtuosity <laughs> man and I am so excited to go see these boys with Dream Theater and Devon Townsend. I, that is gonna be a lot for my brain to handle in one night. I mean, I just watched a four minute piece and like my tech support shirt says, I think I need to control out, delete myself or at least turn myself off and on again because I am scrambled and I'm about to error 404. All right, that's enough nerdy jokes. Uh, but yes, that was superb. Um, 
roughly what I was expecting style wise, but it was something else to really sit down and give myself to this and really experience it because that was wild. Big respect, absolutely incredible. Can't wait to watch them live. Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time.